So I got something awesome in the mail today. I got a brand new uh, Battleborn battery, a, uh, a LiPo, a 12 volt, 100 amp battery. Uh, got a pretty decent uh, price on it. And I'm gonna be putting it in my Lance 650 camper. So stay tuned. Uh, and if you like, please hit the subscribe button or the uh, a like button so that I can uh, continue to make these videos. So here we go. So this is the uh, battery as packaged, uh, really nicely done. Seems pretty light when I pulled it out of the box. Uh, it comes with a few uh, bolts for hardware, so I'll be unboxing it and then just kind of showing you the steps uh, to put it in this uh, Lance uh, camper here. So uh, this is a Lance uh, 650 camper. Uh, it's a 2021. Uh, it came with a few options uh, that uh, when we bought it, uh, it has a, a solar charge controller, uh, which I'll show you uh, here in, in a minute. Uh, and it also has a, a 100 uh, amp uh, solar panel on the top, uh, but it has a, 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 a just a regular lead acid battery. So I'm going to be doing a, a swap and install and then show you. Uh, there's a few things uh, I asked the dealer on how to do this. There's a few things. This, the, these campers are uh, pretty well ready to go for a lithium battery. All it takes is uh, just one little uh, uh, thing in the uh, in the panel to switch it over and so that it'll work with it. So we'll get right into it. I'll kind of show you exactly how I'm doing this and kind of go through a, a removal and an install of the uh, uh, the Battleborn battery here. First off, all the lights are on in here. So I need to get the lights off. It's plugged into shore power and then I'll be removing the uh, the um, the seat here to get to the battery. The battery is actually under the the seat here in the dinette. Uh, and then we're gonna be doing some work uh, in the panel here. There's uh, one little thing that we need to do. And then switching over uh, the solar charge controller. Uh, you can see right now it's on flooded, but we'll be switching that over as well. So let's disconnect our shore power here. It's pretty tight. So get the shore power disconnected here. Kind of unplug it'll be on the it'll run onto the dc there but we want to make sure that once we pull the so the lights are still on so there's one thing that we need to do to make sure that this is out and that's pull our disconnect so underneath the seat um, is where the battery's at and the disconnect is actually in there as well so we'll pop this open and in there there's a little button push it down and lights are off so we can go shows the still getting power to the solar charge controller but that's okay but we got no power in the camper right now so let's get right to you'll notice there's a couple of bolts here and here and then the vent for these lead acid battery uh, for the lead acid battery but uh, with a lithium as you if you do any reading they don't they don't need to be vented or anything like that so We'll kind of start pulling this box apart. We'll get the old battery out and then we'll kind of go through it. All right, it looks like the bolts down here are actually a 7 16 You might want to use an extension just to get down there. This one looks like it's buried down in there. So uh, 7 16 bolts on either side. And then you can get to these with a flat a flathead screwdriver or a, a little socket if you need to, uh, or a wrench. They should come right off. So we'll pull this off here and we'll keep going all right so i got them loose here let's see pull that off there and it looks like we can pull the whole box out once that is out so let's see it's gonna be kind of tough with <laughs> one hand here that's caught on that one right there let's see if i can kind of work that around Give me a second. I'm gonna need to. All right, so a little finesse there. We got the the, uh, the cover off of there, and it looks like the battery just sits uh, kind of down in there, pretty easy. Uh, looks like uh, I grabbed a socket. These top uh, these top uh, nuts here are a uh, nine sixteenth. So uh, we'll, let's pull these off, and then we'll get this battery out. Uh, just be careful not to. Uh, you might disconnect here, and be careful not to touch anything so it doesn't arc. Uh, when you pull this out. All right, so I got them disconnected. Let's pull this up out of here. It's gonna be a little heavy, so let's kind of lift it up out. All right, got the old one. So let's just kind of compare here for size and see what see what it is. It almost looks like the same dimensions here and here, and then it looks like the same 
uh, width. It looks maybe maybe a little taller with the all the goodies that are up on the top there to help with the uh, uh, regulating the charge and the battery. Uh, so that uh, and that's one good thing about these Battleborn batteries. They have all the uh, the, the they have a number one a very good warranty, but also um, they also have a the not only the cells are good, but also the uh, how they charge uh, and how they're regulated. The uh, the electronics inside are very good. So looks like it's going to be a very easy install here, um, just to get it back uh, down in there and uh, get it going. So let's uh, let's kind of unpackage uh, all this and get everything. Let's get the battery in there, and we'll just kind of see how it goes from here. And uh, get all right. So one thing I did notice right off the bat, <laughs> of course, very light comparative to the uh, lead acid. But uh, it's not as, uh, just try to get down in there. Not a lot of light here. Maybe I'll throw on a headlamp here at some point. But uh, I put a, cut a piece of pool noodle in half, put it down in the box, uh, just to prevent it from sliding around. It's pretty good in there. Just kind of snugged it in down there so it won't move around. Looks like it's good front to back though. Um, I'm not too worried about it moving around in the, in the box there. Uh, too much so let's get the uh, let's get the power cables connected um, and we'll get going here. all right so it looks like these bolts uh, for the uh, and you'll notice I switched the orientation when I pulled the other battery out so that the the battery terminals I'm waiting to hook up the negative there but um, yeah you'll notice I kind of swapped it when I put the Battleborn battery in uh, so it's in a little different orientation than the way it was in um, the the positive terminal was over here so just be careful when you put it in, make sure you get your positive and in your negative on the on the right uh, posts there. So, uh, yeah, half inch, uh, half inch socket, half inch bolt there. So uh, when you go to All right, this is probably the most important part here. The one thing I forgot to do is I was installing. I got the positive terminal on there, uh, and I don't want to mess up the battery. So uh, before I put the uh, the negative, I uh, get the whole thing. Uh, uh, connected to the camper here. There's one thing uh, with the inverter, and you got to pull the uh, pull the panel cover off here. So there's just one little screw. Uh, I have a nice little 10 in one screwdriver. It's that um, uh, square bit uh, that that every camper uses. Um, so I'm just going to pull this off, and then I'll show you. There's a little switch behind here that we need to flip uh, to get this in the right setting here. So let me pull this off, and then we'll get right to it. All right. So just be careful these uh these kind of sit in uh, the plastic there so just be careful when you're pulling it off there so the switch that we need to get to is actually in here and i may grab a light so you can see it here so oh, it looks like you can see it pretty well so you'll see uh on the on the inverter here um you'll see an l a and an l i so lead acid lithium ion and there's a little DIN switch here. So I'm just gonna push it to the on position there. Doesn't take much force. Double check and make sure I got that here. Whoop. So it's not like a real heavy, oh, there it went, it clicked. Okay, so make sure it clicked. I was <laughs> uh, I messed with computers quite a bit. So there, it's on now, okay. So just make sure that that's switched over and then you can put your panel cover, uh, your panel cover back on. Um, so we'll just go on to the next step here. All right, so the panel cover's back on. Looks good there, okay. Yeah, it's nice and secure. Okay, let's get the uh, negative terminal hooked up here and we'll get to the rest of the install here. And then uh, the other thing that we need to switch over is uh, how the um, uh, the solar charger uh, it, it charges at a higher rate. Uh, so we need to switch that over to uh, lithium and not lead acid. All right, so it looks like we got these tightened up nice and secure. Those lock nuts really help from Battleborn to kind of get that in there nice. I may need to reroute probably reroute this positive wire so it's not yeah so I can get it out uh, from under uh, there so let me let me reroute right, it so it looks like I got the cover in place here other than uh, I did loosen up here just because of how I ran the wire you know, I might have just uh, 
sit made myself a little extra step here but it just seemed easier to loosen it so i got it loose from the terminal here uh and uh, i need to tighten that up and then get this vent uh you, you can or can't use it i'm just going to install it because it's going to look a little better uh in here uh and then get the bolts uh uh, tighten back down for the uh, for the battery cover and then uh, we'll uh, get the uh, solar charge controller setting uh, good uh, and then uh, pull the uh, uh, reconnect the disconnect here. Right, here's a solar charge controller. I'm going to turn my headlamp off here. Um, so you'll see it's on flooded. If you look at the B button here, we get to change it, we need to hold that down for three seconds. It'll flash. And then we can, oh, I missed it. Cycle through to the different, and then hold down for three seconds. And it'll select it. It's still flashing though. Let's see if it changes. All right, I was wrong. So when you cycle through, it'll stay flashing here. So you'll see you get to cycle through all the different battery types here. So you get to, I just read the manual. So instead of holding down B, you hold down A for three seconds then it selects it. All right, so we're ready to go. The B button will cycle through like it normally did. So it's given us 100%. Uh, we haven't switched over the battery, it's still. Uh, so let's check it out here. Let's uh, switch the disconnect and see what we got. All right, so the lights are on. <laughs> it looks like it's working. Okay, so, so po apologize for the mess. Oh, I'm getting a... Uh, messages for the camper coming up it's all it's everything's powering on so let's cycle through our battery here uh so 1.4 that's what it's putting down so we get a little light here it's this is in night mode 13.6 uh, volts zero amps and 100 percent. so we'll check this maybe tomorrow but it looks like everything's working uh, correctly here so pretty exciting uh, plug it in and and let it get going here looks like a Pretty happy about this so it appears everything's working it's getting very dark uh, looks like all the lights are on and I checked it with the uh, everything with the uh, camper going here uh, just checking the drain on the battery just making sure everything to uh, working correctly uh, with the with the solar charge controller and I'm just kind of turning things on just to see how everything's working and if it's everything's working well uh, and it appears that everything is. So let me wrap this up. I'll do uh, I'll do kind of a, a little bit of house cleaning and use the power of the internet here to make sure everything's clean. And then we'll kind of come back and uh, I'll maybe do a layout of what tools I used. Uh, got some just stuff laying around here. And let me get all this cleaned up and put back together. And then we'll kind of discuss uh, maybe some tools you need. Okay, here's the tools you're gonna need. Uh, just a utility knife to open up the box. Uh, I have a uh, a flat blade screwdriver for those uh, little uh, clamps for the uh, the battery vent. Uh, I used a pretty long extension, uh, a half inch ratchet, and then half inch uh, or not half inch, uh, uh, three eighths uh, socket, and then or not socket extensions three three eighths ratchet, uh, and then I used. Uh, uh, so a nine sixteenths half inch, and then I had three different sockets: a uh, half inch, uh, nine sixteenths half inch, and uh, seven sixteenths. And then of course your square bit uh, for the panel. I think that's all you'll need uh, for tools, and that um, should get you pretty well uh, done with the whole install. Uh, I didn't use any power tools. Didn't really. Need it. All right, so that's a wrap up. I'm sitting here. It's uh, it's getting nightfall here at my house. Uh, but uh, the lights are on, uh, seems to be working. I got 100% battery uh, up there, pretty happy already uh, with it. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some test runs uh, if you guys would like to see how long it holds a charge, even with and, uh, just uh, what it's even doing with that one solar panel. I know from the factory, Lance uh, adds the uh, uh, Lance uh, adds the option on these uh, 650 campers uh, of putting uh, the um, uh, the, the solar panel up there, the solar charge controller. Um, and then uh, from the factory, they add in the, uh, as you saw in the video, uh, the little switch there to flip it over from lead acid to uh, lipo battery. So all in all, a very easy install. Uh, didn't take a lot of uh, uh, 
uh, expertise in that at all. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so if you'd like to see some more videos uh, of the camper, I, uh, I have some uh, content uh, just by running it for the for the last year I've had this camper. I know it's a 2021, but I've had it for uh, almost a year now. So I've got some uh, uh, learning experiences in it, uh, hooking it to my uh, truck. But not only that, um, just what it'll uh, what what you can run uh, with a generator. Now, what type of generator uh, I used uh, to get it running. And so we'll throw that content up there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helps some of you. Uh, I know there's many of the dealers putting out videos for these campers, so I don't need to do a, a, a giant um, a video of showing you all the nuances of the camper that are, they're already been done, but I own it. I bought this camper so I can, uh, I'd like to do uh, in the future, maybe some videos of uh, a love hates. I have some, uh, a lot of love for this camper. Obviously I bought it, uh, but I do have some dislikes and something I'd hope that uh, uh, Lance uh, would uh, take note of. I'm the consumer of this uh, product. So hopefully that they, uh, they listen to me as a, uh, as somebody that, that uh, has one of these and owns it.